What you're looking at right now, you probably want to copy down. And I would recommend <laughs> copying everything down because we're going to go through how to use this and use it as a way to actually find the solution to these problems we've been working on in Chapter 11. So, here we go. First of all, we want to understand how in the world we use the AVO number. So, let's get it out there. And I'd recommend you put this on a separate sheet of paper, or you could put it on your help sheet if you want. I'm, I'm fine either way. You decide what's going to be best for you. And so, on your help sheet, you could have this, and that would be a resource for you. So, particles, these guys. So, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles is equal to 1 mole of particles. We have not said it this way before. How have we said it before? No, no, no. Come on. The yellow numbers. How have I said this before? 6.03 times 10 to the 23rd um, uh, particles is equal to what? Just one mole. That's what I said before, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to rely on this guy for an understanding of what that actually means. So if I give you atoms, then I want you to be able to tell me that the atom is going to be your particle. It's not going to be moles. It's not going to be grams. It's going to be particles, or in this case, the atom, whatever that atom is. Whoops, here we go. Now, back here, we're getting specific. So, if we use the AVO number, the numbers will always be the same. What will change? Yeah, what, what other particles would I have if I'm talking atoms? Anything on the chart? Yeah, sure, exactly. Very good. So, right here, this 10 to the 23 in this real life example is manganese atoms. That's how many of these atoms it takes to have one mole of atoms. And that's why moles become very useful, because it's <coughs> tough to deal with this number. It's a lot easier to deal with mole. Okay, unless you like writing 23 zeros, mole's the way to go, right? So, let's go down here now, and let's look and see why things change a lot with molar mass. With molar mass, we're looking at, in this real life example, 50, 54.9 when we round it, grams of manganese atoms. We haven't said it like this before, have we? No. Okay. We just said grams and we wrote manganese. Yeah. Or some of you just write grams. <laughs> you don't write anything else. That's going to kill you next chapter, by the way. In chapter 12, you don't know what the atom is, you're dead meat. You won't get your problems right. Okay, so this is how many grams of manganese atoms is equal to one mole of manganese atoms. Okay, that's for an individual atom. Now, if I gave you uh, 10 grams of manganese, 10 grams of manganese atoms, where would you start on the periodic chart? Or on, on, on this guy? Where are we going to start? Here, here we go. So I just gave you grams of manganese. Okay? How many grams did I give you? 10, Ten grams. 10 grams of manganese. Okay, so where am I going to start? Particles? Moles? Or grams? Grams. Thank goodness. Last period I had interesting responses. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start here, right? And this will be our first fraction. Now, how are we going to deal with that? Huh? Right here. After we do the given over one, we're going to use this guy. And we'll talk about how that happens in just a moment. Now, if we had a molecule like strontium chloride, we'd have to figure out the molar mass, right? Yes. So, 
we would use these numbers right down here to figure that out, add them up, one strontium, two chlorides, and their representative molar, molar mass. Uh, chloride molar mass has to be multiplied by two to get the 70, and then we add this up and we'll round it to 158, and that's where that number comes from. Right? So 58 grams of strontium chloride molecules equals one mole, and this is going to throw you right at first, one mole of strontium chloride molecules. Don't ever abbreviate molecules. You see the problem? <laughs> it's, it's bad enough when you say moles and molecules and people right away just put them both as the same thing. They are definitely not the same thing. Okay, so let's go on. <coughs> now, on this we're getting down to brass tacks. This is where we're actually going to do the figuring. So let's go ahead and I'd like to have you all, I think you can do this now, before we do anything else, do the first fraction. If you're watching this at home, stop the recording and do the first fraction. Okay, here we go. Let's look and see how you did with your first fraction. And that should have been right here. Okay. Is that what y'all got? Yes, sir. All right, good. Now, the second fraction. Let's go back. And let's look at this again. Where are we on this chart? With the given. Are we here, here, or here? We're at grams. Because that's the given. Okay, now, what I want you to do is put your fingers on your charts that you just wrote. And I want you to put your left finger here and your right finger here. Do it now, please. Now, with your two fingers on the chart, what is between your two fingers? This guy's right between. This is the grams that equals one mole. Well, what are the grams that equal one mole of... What do we have here? Strontium chloride, right? So, we're going to be down here. Here's our molar mass. This is the grams of strontium chloride that is equal to one mole of strontium chloride molecules. I should have said molecules over here too. This is 158 grams strontium chloride molecules and one mole of strontium chloride molecules. I'm saying it like it really is. I know this seems it almost seems hokey, but it's not because you're not getting it yet. And when I did this in tutoring this morning, I found the student just caught on right away. That's why we're doing it now. Okay, so we've got this guy started. So what's our next fraction? I'd like you to write that next fraction now. If you know that... Right. So, notice that I have circled now the whole unit of measure. I, have not, I haven't done it quite like this before because I didn't have the word molecules in before. Now, this unit of measure needs to go on the bottom. But what's the number that's going to go with it in the next fraction? Ah, oh, what is this? This is moles, and it is going to be a one mole, as you have so rightly said. And that one mole that is right down here is identical to what I have in this blue box. Yes? Yeah. And why is that number one there? Watch and learn. This guy, number one, that one is there because that's the number that is to the left of moles of strontium chloride mo molecules. It's one mole. So the number to the left of the word mole is the number that has to be in front of it when we do the next fraction. Okay, that's why you see the one right here. 
So, what's going to be on the top? That stuff, right? 158 grams of strontium chloride molecules. And that's what you see up here. So now we have successfully set up the problem. Now all we have to do is calculate it. And when we calculate this, we should come out with this guy. Right? And when we convert it to scientific notation, it'll look like this. Yes, question. Oh, molecules. Did I say moles? No, I, no, we're already in moles. Did I? Am I doing the wrong one? Did I get manganese atoms? Was that what I had to start with? I hope not. Yeah, I know in the video, in you guys watching on the video at home, you're going to be a little bit distressed because I think I started you out here and asked you to go on from there. And what I really meant to do was take you from 3.90 uh, moles into molecules. And so with that guy, we've got moles up here, we got to have moles down here. And the strontium chloride molecules would be up here because we are using now the Avogadro number, right? Okay, so that takes our moles to molecules. And down here, we're going to wind up with this little guy. And let me get this out of the way for just a minute. Uh, delete. Okay. So when we wind up with the end on this guy, the, the 10 to the 23 moves our decimal to the right. And this guy is going to the left. That means they're opposite. So by dragging this guy back here, I'm essentially moving back one. If I move back one, and I'm still trying to get to the same place, which is going to be somewhere, somewhere past the end of the board, right? If I'm still trying to get to the same place, and I'm starting here instead, I've got to give it more horsepower. So that number's got to go up. Opposite meaning that if we have to move this to the left to get it into scientific notation and the power of 10 is moving it to the right, I've just stretched it out. And now my 10 to the 23rd becomes 10 to the 24th down here in our answer. Okay, so that's where this, this all comes from. And now that we're in scientific notation, we have our 10 to the 24th, and we know we have stront uh, strontium chloride molecules. Now down here, what I've done is I've put down the, the uh, AVO number so you could see where these guys came from. This guy right here is which side of the AVO, molecule, uh, the AVO equation? The left or the right? Look at it. Molecules, where are they? Left or right? Okay, these are molecules. That's why you're getting a little bit confused with AVO deals. Okay, those are the molecules. These are the moles of molecules. What if I had an atom instead? What would it be? Strong, uh, what if I had silver? What would I say here instead of molecules? Atoms. atoms. Or an ion if it were an ion. Yeah, sure. And then over here we would have silver and that would also be atoms. But in this case it was molecules. Okay, let's go down and see what we have in store down here. And then we'll go back and do that other problem. Okay, so first of all, here's our given. And the given has us in what? What are we, what are we starting with? Molecules. Where is that on that little thing that I gave you to start out? Far right. Okay, far right. Good. Okay, so we're going to go back down here and we're going to try and find grams. So put your finger on that little chart and where are we starting? Grams? Are, yeah, grams, moles, or molecules? Particles. Where are we? 
for starting with particles, huh? Okay. Particles are molecules. Yes, particles and molecules are the same thing. Let's go back. One, two. Molecules. Molecules and atoms are particles. That's the only thing you can have in particles, is molecules or atoms. That's okay. Let's go back. We started out here with this guy, right here. Okay? That's our given. This is what we're supposed to find, grams. Okay, so if we have our fingers on the two spots, we're going to have our fingers here and here. Yes? yes? And where are we starting? On the right or the left? The given was what? Molecules or particles. And so where are we starting, right or left? On the right, yeah. So you should have one finger here and another finger here. Now, let's find out how we're going to get from here to here. It's going to be two steps, right? So I'm going to call with the cards and let's see if you come up with it. Elizabeth's not here, yes. Okay, Narek, you get to go first. So tell me, what would our first fraction be? Because our first fraction has to get us from particles to moles. What's between? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm sorry. What? The first, the first fraction, we already know that, don't we? Okay, we, we already know that our first fraction is going to be right there. Yeah? That's our first fraction. Now, we need to know the second fraction. Okay, what you did was perfect, except I would like you to think, if you got molecules up here, you have to write molecules down here, and say you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd strontium chloride molecules on the bottom, and then on the top, you're going to have the one mole of strontium chloride molecules. Just, it's a, it's a little subtle thing here, but it makes a big difference. Go back here and see what that molecule, the the uh, uh, AVO number was, and here would be. We had atoms in this example. In the problem that we're working on, we have molecules. That's the only difference. And so, I almost went to the wrong problem, didn't I? Okay, we go down, and our next fraction comes from the molar mass. And we can get that guy from right here. Now we can see them side by side. So, in getting this, this dude here has to be down there because this is what's on the top of the prior fraction. See that? We've got the moles of strontium chloride down here has to be moles of strontium chloride. And on the top is the molar mass, which we already got over in this slide. So that's 158 grams of strontium chloride molecules is going to be one mole of the molecules. And so the mole of the molecules is on the bottom because moles is on top here. And the grams will go with, as you see over here on the left-hand side, that grams thing has the number 58 with it. And so this guy all works out, and let's go back to single pane, and down we go, and here's what we end up with. Okay, 61.7 times 10 to the 1 grams of strontium chloride. And why is that? Because this little guy right here cancels out, this little guy right here cancels out with this one, and this guy here canceled out with the one that was up here. Okay, These two guys canceled out. I did that a little out of order. And I shouldn't have canceled out this one, huh? <laughs> Oops. Yeah. That didn't cancel. 
All right. So down here on the bottom, we've got our final answer at 617. You could alternatively have put this in scientific notation. And the scientific notation would take us to right here. So this number here is the same as this number here, just written with scientific notation. The two, see the exponent of two drives the decimal from here to here. And so the 617 would be the correct number as well as the scientific notation. No. We got started on this before and let's take since we, in this guy, are going to start with, okay, since we're starting with that grams of magnesium, or uh, manganese, uh, we got grams of manganese atoms, what has to be on the bottom of the next fraction? Particles. Grams. Grams of magnesium, manganese atoms. So, what are the grams? The grams are going to come from the periodic chart, right? Okay, so, we've got the grams down here. Okay, Man grams of manganese atoms, moles of manganese atoms. And then we use AVO. So the first thing that we do is we're going to cancel these guys. Then we get a chance to cancel the moles of manganese atoms with the moles of manganese atoms here. And so here's our AVO number, and these are manganese atoms individual pieces. Down we go. We got this guy and this this number comes from this, the 3.9 times the 54 or divided by the 54.9. So if you're working this on your calculator, okay, now let's let's look at this one more time. There's there's what we're going to put in and I'm going to go back to the calculator now. And on the calculator, we're going to put in the 3.9. Was that it? 3.9. Now, the next number is on the bottom. <laughs> and so this guy down here is going to have to have a divide sign before it. So I hit the divide sign, and I put in the number that was down there, which is 54.9. So we put in 54.9 on our calculator. Now, how do we tell the calculator that this next number here is on top? Okay, great. We put in our times. Come on. Come on. We put in our times, and then we're going to put in the number 6.02. 6.02, and now we can hit our equal sign. And what have we done? We figured out the number out front of the 6.02. Just to run that calculation for you. And it became 0.428 because on the calculator we got four, uh, 0.4276, and that 6 makes the 7 into an 8, and that's how we got that number. So from here, we got to go to scientific notation, and because the power of 10 moves the decimal to the right, and we're moving this to the right, we're going the same direction which makes our power of 10 go down. Because we're already moving at 1, so we don't need 23 anymore, we only need 22. What if we moved it two places? What would the power of 10 do? <coughs> It'd go up 2. Okay. Yeah, so it would be 10 to the 20, uh, or I'm sorry, it would go down, not up, go down 2, and it would be 10 to the 21, yes. Okay, and that's, that's our final answer. I hope you find this helpful. Save it.